Welcome in Adventurers, Coheland's Adventurers channel update number 108. Uh, it is Wednesday, the 28th of February. Um, one more day to go this year. Uh, so, oh, busy week last week, and this coming week is going to be even weirder. Uh, to the numbers, though, we went from 3050 to 3219 in one week. So almost 170 more adventurers to join us. And from uh, 36.4 thousand wa watch hours to 39.2 thousand watch hours. So we're still, even outside of Nam and Mateo Mancuso, we're still growing, not as big as during those times, but uh, we're keeping a, a fairly steady, consistent, minimum level uh, 9,000 views per day up to I think we're 15 the last couple of days so hopefully I'm doing something right here um, oh and I'm calling this one hopefully I'm calling this one hope this doesn't get blocked Cruise. Yeah, I'm calling this Sea Cruise because Leland Sklar and the immediate family, who we just saw at the Mint a week or two ago, uh, were on uh, a cruise, a uh, Rock Legends cruise, and Leland was posting like daily videos of what it was like to be on board ship and some of the shows that were happening, and I was kind of going, man, I really want to do that at some point. So... I'm going to start a GoFundMe or something like that, uh, crowdsourcing to get the funds to go on a Legends cruise next year uh, and do my interviews from the boat and kind of do what Leland did, like meeting people and just walking around and experiencing life on board a cruise ship uh, and seeing all the different groups, you know, so like for five to seven days. There will be a captive audience of musicians that I can uh, do daily shows from and uh, maybe some more interviews. The downside is I hear that Wi-Fi is expensive, so I might, I don't know if there will be a package that I can include uh, that would do that or maybe just uh, every other day ups, upload it, which would probably be best because that way I'll have time to process the videos and get it up and all that so that's the plan join me on this adventure help me get there if you like a video do a super thanks of a dollar if i got that from everybody i'd pay for the the shipboard trip already anyway on to last week last week hopefully you've seen some of the videos andrea miller great vocalist uh jazz I've seen her several times with uh, Ron Kobayashi, who was accompanying her with uh, a different, not as normal trio, but they had um, called me, uh, Paul Kribach, uh sort of an Orange County legend, uh, on drums, and Harold, I still can't remember his name, first time I ever saw him, apparently he's also equally noted, but I, I hadn't noticed him before. Um, and then last minute or last day edition of Tony Guerrero on trumpet and flugelhorn. So that was a, a real special thing. And then they had a, a guest vocalist on one and a half song. She did a solo song by herself, Elena um, Gilliam. Uh, so I have one of those videos, God Bless the Child, where she's singing a duet with Andrea. So check that out. Um, so that was Thursday of last week. Friday, uh, I went to, um, what is it, uh, Eagle Rock, Eagle Rock, and saw the Steve Billman trio. Steve Billman and Jeff uh, Miley were in a group called, or I guess technically still are in a group called Odd Dogs that had Ralph Humphrey, uh, the, f the famous illustrious drummer who just passed away April of last year. Uh, 
as one of their members of the band. They have an album out, which is great. And one of my favorite songs on that album is one that Steve wrote, which is um, called A Simple Word. So please check that out. It was the last song that they did that evening and just very excited that they did it. And they had Gary Novak on drums, who's played with everybody. Uh, you may have seen him on videos with Alan Hines or uh, that I posted or other video that I posted with um, Jeff Lorber Fusion, back at Spagatini pre-COVID days. And uh, just, he, he's on a lot of the videos that I've done, a lot of things at the Baked Potato and, and elsewhere. Um, ironically, I just saw him last night, but we'll get into that for the end of this week. Uh, so that was that was great. It was inside a, a church in Eagle Rock, and um, you'll see like crime tape across. The, they're just trying to block the the people from going past the aisle, past the uh, things. But no crime was committed. It was all all great music. Um, and then I was going to go out to Pomona to see Quick Business again. My friend Rick Frost is in that band. At the current time uh and i just i was so bushed from just those two days that i it was a little i needed a little me time to just recuperate and finish getting the videos and all that stuff so i passed on that then yesterday the last day of last week uh i i did a threefer um uh, a friend alfred johnson who I've seen several times. I first saw him opening for Ricky Lee Jones at the Coach House. I've got a lot of video of him, but he's camera shy, not really camera shy, but video avoidant. Uh, he, he doesn't like to have his stuff out there. So until he gives me the, the say so, that's just files for him and for me. So unfortunately, but he's a great songwriter and it was his birthday celebration. So uh, I missed it the last year, last two years, technically. Um, but I'm, I was very happy to go there and see that. And also on the bill, uh, John Townsend, who'd also seen both of them at, uh, Jody Siegel's, um, showcases. And there's some videos from, uh, John Townsend there. He is known for being in the band Sanford Townsend Band. They used to open up for... Fleetwood Mac at big stadium tours. They had the song Smoke from a Distant Fire. I also recently discovered that he wrote, co-wrote one of my favorite Kenny Loggins songs off the early albums called Lucky Lady, or Lady Luck, I guess is the title. Kiss Your Lucky Lady, Goodbye. Anyway, great song. So that was very cool. And they, they basically swapped sets. They do five songs, four songs, three songs, you know, swapping back behind them. So it was just a great night, but I had originally planned to go up to the Baked Potato to see a group, Tim Hockenberry and the 559, uh, because it had Dean Parks playing with them. And I continually, I've met Dean several times. First time I actually met him was at Ralph Humphrey's show at the Baked Potato, um, maybe five months before he passed away. So that was a very cool fun thing. And I saw him at NAMM and I've seen him several other times where we've met up, but this is the first time I actually got to hear him. And so I drove from the show at the trip in Santa Monica where I saw Alfred and John, hightailed it over the valley and through the snow uh, to the baked potato, got there just 11. So I got the last hour of the show of the second set and I got five songs from it. And in that group, there was a guy named Jim Lefevre on um, bass, uh, a woman named uh, Eva Scow, who I saw before last year at NAMM. She was if, uh, on the outside Yamaha stage with uh, uh, Corey, Corey Pez. Uh, where's my brain? Anyway, uh, and Laura, uh, Leah Zager, um, Corey Pesatero. Um, so that was kind of exciting because she plays mandolin. She's great. So she was sitting off the side. You won't be able to see much of 
anybody on the little videos that I captured, uh, except for a little through the back of the seat that was sitting in front of me. Uh, you get to see Dean Parks play and a bit of uh, Tim Hockenberry, who plays keyboards, songwriter, and also in one song, Dean Parks played saxophone and Tim did trombone while this guy from Germany came up and guessed it on guitar. So that was really fun. Um, and then the drummer is Gary Novak, who I just mentioned had been Saturday at uh, Steve Bilbin show in Eagle Rock. So that was a good busy week. Tonight, if I have the guts to do it and I'm crazy enough, there's a new venue to me called The Bellwether. It's up in LA, just west of the, I guess the 10 freeway or the 110 freeway that cuts through downtown LA. So it's just west of downtown LA. Um, two bands, Extreme with Nino Betancourt. I've seen Nino before in Axe Heroes or Generation Axe, uh, but never seen Extreme. And what I really have been wanting to do is Living Color is also playing there. And I know Will Calhoun, the drummer from a group called God Particle, that is a bunch of physicists and scientists that put together a band and they played at Musco Center. I wasn't able to record any of that. Well, I got one little bit of it, but I haven't posted any of that. But, um, and then Corey, I can't remember his last name, the lead singer, and I've never seen Vernon Reed and I've can't remember the name of the bass player, but I really want to see that. So if you see it, I went. Uh, we'll see what happens next week. But that's tonight. Tomorrow night, I am going back up the baked potato to see Virgil Donati, phenomenal drummer. And he's got this killer young new bass player. Uh, let's see if I can bring up his name. Um, Of course, it would be nice if I got into this month. Here we go. Um, Junior Ragina and the Chris Clark on keyboards. I think he's the Chris Clark that I knew from Brand X, so that will be great to see him again. And another young guy named Andre Neri, N I E R I, on guitar. I looked him up like I did for Junior, and he's phenomenal. So it should be a great show. I'm really looking forward to that. Um, so that's tomorrow night. Uh, and then Friday night, uh, it's a group called The Reductions. Um, it's going to have Jim Keltner. It was supposed to have Jim Cox in the band, but he's on a Lyle cruise that starts tomorrow so he won't make it back for that but it's a bunch of it, it's at the right off room which is just around the bend uh onto ventura boulevard from um the baked potato and it, it's there's a just a bunch of good session cats who are playing there so i'm looking forward to that and then saturday what's on a possibility that I have on the calendar, Robert Fripp of um, King Crimson is appearing at the coach house with another gentleman who I didn't even bother to look up because I was told that it's a talking show. They're, maybe they'll have a guitar that they'll trade off here and there, but it's, it's really not a performance uh, as I've been told, more just a... Um, history communication or just just talking about music kind of show um and robert tripp is very known for not allowing videoing so i figured he may not be playing much he's certainly not going to be doing anything that i'll be able to report or, or play most likely so i'm passing on that one and then sunday Another one I'm probably going to pass on, uh, Roy Okamoto with Spock's Beard at Alva's showroom. It would be nice, but it's getting a little pricey there, and there are two other shows that I definitely want to go to, so I'm saving my money for those shows. 
um, I'll tell you about that. But also tomorrow, tomorrow is Thursday, yeah, uh, I've got an interview that I'm taking with Carl Verheyen that will air this Sunday in advance of his show I'm producing at Campus Jacks on next Friday. Busy week. Uh, and I, I guess I'm going to be hyping it a little bit in the fact that I just discovered it's the last U.S. performance before they start their April tour of Europe. So added incentive to come see the show. If you're in the area, come see the show. Campus Jacks. Good food, good music, good place to be. Enough of the hype. Uh, and uh, again, that will air on Sunday, the interview that we'll have. And uh, that will that will clean me out for the week, I hope, uh, unless something shows up on Tuesday. So far, nothing but tacos. So uh, that's it. And then the idea that I have about the sea cruise, you know, rock legends, some music themed cruise sometime next year, help me get there, put in those, you know, dollars and pennies in the super thanks if there's something that you like. I'll probably research to find out what the total package cost may have to be because it's it's transportation there and back. There's a motel room arriving the night before and leaving the night after before the, the transportation back. Uh, there's whatever port fees and taxes and all that cruise stuff that has to go into it and how much the cost of the the room will be and if I'll be sharing with a bunch of people or just a few people or maybe just myself, who knows. And then, you know, other things like uh, tips and gratuity that has to be included and um, probably Wi-Fi if I want to have any sort of way of uploading the stuff during the, the cruise. So we'll see. Uh, I'll, I'll do some sort of crowdfunding thing for this and let's get get me on board a cruise ship next year uh it'll be fun and you'll get lots of really interesting videos and interviews and stuff like that so let's go until then get thee to a concert as always much love take care